So curve fitting is finding a curve which matches a series of data points and possibly other constraints. Now when you come to analysis, you come to the nonlinear regression, it helps you to do care fitting. So there are so many models that are inbuilt in Sigma plot and also that you can make yourself and fit your data to. Now the first one is the regression wizard. So regression procedures find an association between independent and dependent variable that when graphed produces a straight line, plane or curve or anything so let's just start with this so regression it brings about a pop-up now when you bring this wizard it tells you that select the equation to fit your data so you see the equation here now there are so many inbuilt when you come to the equation category for instance polynomial you see linear and the equation you see quadratic with the equation, cubic with the equation, inverse first order, and there are so many more, even 3D ones as well. And you can fit it to your data. So let's just go for a simple linear and then head to next. Now, when you come to next, you have to choose your columns. So let's go for column one and then column two. So we have our X as column one and our Y as column two. And you can also choose different data sets. We chose X, Y pair, but you can go for all the others. And before I, I forget, let's come back. So if you have linear, for instance, you can go to edit code and this is the function. So you have equation of a line, you can edit this and you can also come to the variables and edit it and run it as your own so that is something to note you can also come for new and set up your own equation and all so let's go on so this brings you to one iteration because it's not a complicated data set and it's also not a complicated model so it converges easily then you go to next do you want to create a report and all those stuff let's leave that one out for now do you want to create a graph and you can go for it and where do you want the graph data to go so the fitted plots where do you want to fitted data where do you want to go it should come to the side and hit finish and you have your fit so this is how you make a simple fit now the regression is kind of automated for you and Zygma plot gives you the ability to do dynamic fit so let's come back to our data and head over to dynamic fit now let's just proceed to next and let's choose column one and column two and choose x y pair so you see we didn't have this option in a previous one so this helps us to define some stuff and make it more accurate for our fitting if we want to adjust some stuff so this is the automatic computation and we can change let's say the number of fit we can change the maximum number of iteration and then we can also change so if you come for user defined you can change the minimum the maximum and and all that so once you change all these so let's say we change this to this is the minimum let's change it to let's say minus one and we can change the maximum to let's say um maximum to let's say 10 and hit modify so that changes we can do same for this one as well let's change it to let's say minus three and then change this to let's say three or four and hit modify and it changes so you can kind of customize your own fit in here 
if you want to change something or if it's not cool for you and head to next so that that's one extra layer that you can do with a dynamic fit and you can just go on like we did and hit finish and you should have so yeah i didn't choose good parameters so you have something that bad but that is just to demonstrate that you can change the parameters in there and then the fit will change then you can also do global care fit so this is where you can choose multiple um data so let's try something so you can come in and then go for next and it tells you shared parameters between the two so this is where you have like um a model and then you have two different data sets so do they share these parameters let's just go for next yes and then choose the column so you have to choose your first one sorry so one and then two and let's just try let me see how this looks like um okay then let's rather go for one and three and then x2 should be one again and then let's go for four so we should have this go for next then go for next go for next and then head to finish so you see the fit between these two data sets is here so this is when you have like two data sets and you want to fit it to one model that can also be done using the global care fit so that is something useful to note and you can come in and just play along with this and if you have any questions if you have a complicated model and you're having challenges you can send me a personal message or put it on the q a section and we can all discuss